Have you ever struggled to make a choice? Has there ever been a moment in time where overthinking has gotten the best of you? Where you are at a crossroad right now, you need to make a decision on a certain thing, but it, you can't. You end up getting to the position where you even start losing your mental health because of how do you make those hard, tough decisions in life? I wanna start going to the gym. I wanna stop playing video games all the time. But how do I actually make the tough decisions? First things first, how are you? I hope you've been good and I hope things have been alright. Look, decision, I used to suffer with overthinking, social anxiety, a lot. And there are some times that I still do now. But compared to two years ago, I have made a huge amount of progress and I've managed to make a huge amount of change. To literally to the point where... It was like food that I was gonna buy. Like, oh, should I get this chocolate bar? Or should I get this chocolate bar? Which one am I gonna like better? Which one's gonna taste better? Ah, uh, which one I'm gonna regret not having? I used to overthink stuff like that on a daily basis, like every five, 10 minutes. That's how bad it was. So when it came to big decisions in my life that I wanted to change, uh, I'm gonna drop out of college. Uh, I'm gonna go on self-improvement. I'm gonna start going to the gym, eat healthier. Stop all the bad habits, stop gaming. Stop eating junk food all the time. Stop drinking. Did you think I made those choices easily? If I struggled to choose what bloody chocolate bar I wanted? No. So how can you make the tough decisions in your life? Decisions that you know you want to, to make an improvement on your life, but you don't know if you have the ability to actually choose it. And not just that, even with small choices like I went through, with small things like what food you're gonna have tonight or what other things you're gonna do. Like, small choices with small things. How did I manage to overcome those problems? I'm going to reveal to you the secrets that I've learned over my journey on self-improvement for two years. How you can overcome this sense of overthinking. Think in years, not days. You know, this sounds like it would be more unhelpful to overthinking, but you see, so much of us are so caught up with the present moment. You know, that this choice is going to affect us right now but we don't think about in a week's time that maybe this choice that we're about to make doesn't affect us at all. It's not that big a deal. You see, we get so caught up in the moment that we forget that there is a week to go, that there is the rest of the week. Before jumping to a conclusion, think about the long term. Just force yourself to take a step back and think about the long term. You see, sometimes we're envious of those people who are in a situation and they need to make a quick decision and then they just, like that, make a decision almost on the spot but you see there's a difference there's making a fast decision right but then there's making a good meaningful decision and meaningful decisions consider the long term the years think in years not days decision fatigue it is important to understanding decision fatigue more importantly recognizing the state that your mind is in right before you're making a decision an important decision, or even a minor decision. It's important to think about the current state of mind that your mind is in. You see, decision fatigue is basically when the mental energy starts becoming depleted due to the trade-off of us taking time to think about a decision. Where the mental energy is starting to deplete and the decision is starting to become too much for us to handle. And this is when overthinking kicks in. Not only are you getting mentally exhausted, but this is when overthinking decides to be a bitch. It's important to take mind and un just be wary of what state your mind is in right before you make an important decision. Because if you're already tired, if you've already got decision fatigue, then that decision is going to be a lot harder to make. Give yourself time to a moment of rest. Bearing this in mind, that there is something known as decision fatigue, just make fewer decisions. If you know that today you're going to make a lot of big decisions in your life, you know, oh, I've got to, um, you know, I've got to qu quit gaming, start going to the gym. I want to make all these changes, all these decisions, but oh, I know I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Or you're going to have a tough day at work or something like anything it could be where you know you're going to make a big decision. Simply just make you were smaller decisions. If decision fatigue is a thing, you get tired as you make more decisions, then save that energy for the important stuff. You know, if you look at like Steve Jobs or like very wealthy business owners, you know, the owner of Amazon, Apple, Google, all these, all these major wealthy people who have got millions of pounds of in their business. When they wake up, they don't have an elaborate wardrobe. 
they spend less time thinking about what they're going to wear so they can spend more time making decisions on the important things for their business. And the most important habit that has helped me make a huge change to actually overthinking and especially with small decisions and big decisions, this is one rule that has helped me with all of all of this. And that's the five to five to five rule. The five, five, five rule. If a decision you're about to make doesn't matter in five minutes, you don't need to worry about it. You don't really need to take, consider like that this is a major problem in your life. If the decision you're about to make affects you in five days, however, eh, spend a little more time thinking about it. However, if this decision you're about to make will make a change and still affect you in five years, then you need to spend some time thinking about it. That's a considered a big decision. So for example, me, I don't know which chocolate bar to have. It doesn't matter in five minutes. Why the fuck am I worried about this? Just pick whichever one comes to mind. You know what? I am going to the gym six times this week instead of three. I'm going to up it. That's going to make a difference in, you know, five days. It's going to affect how I feel. It's also going to affect my progress I make. You know, spend some time. Okay, you know, I'll feel a little more tired. I have to find more time. But I will make a lot, lot more progress and I'll feel a lot better. You know what? That's worth it. I'm going to start going to the gym. I want to quit video games and I'm going to start going on self-improvement. I want to stay consistent. Now this will affect you in the next five years, but it's a very positive thing that's going to affect you. You will give up on the bad habits and you will indulge in the good ones. This will make a huge positive change to you in five years and you should spend time thinking about it. How you're going to go about this. The five to five to five rule. This has helped me hugely. Because not only does it help me with small decisions to make, it helps me with the middle ones and the big decisions to make. It just helps with all decisions to make and kind of helps me with overthinking, especially after getting decision fatigue. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope things have been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. You know what time it is. So improve kiss.